Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Grand Stream Saga. We are still in uh, the Wiseman's Cemetery. Um, I know, I know, I'm taking my time, but maybe we'll make some good progress this time. So, let's defeat these guys in the side chambers and see whether doing that opens up the way. Those sealed passages. Please, if you would stop backing off. Um, yeah, this is bad. I need to get him in a situation where... Oh! Where he doesn't hit me, ideally, but... Uh, mostly where his shield is gonna land somewhere where he can't actually reach it. Uh, man, that, that was very bad. But somehow it worked out. Um, okay. Oh! Oh! Wow, that... That was more luck than anything. I'll be the first to admit that. Okay, I'll wait for him to back off and attack. Backing off and I'm attacking, yeah. There's such a delay before I actually start swinging. And I think if he really wanted to, he could get his attack off before I get a chance. But oh well. So let's see if my theory is correct, but what else could I do, right? So Death Guardian, huh? Did I know that before? Okay, so that opened the... oh, the middle passage? Okay. And this one. Right. Should I open both first? I guess I might as well. And then I need, probably need to do something on both sides. Uh, to open up the way for the south. Assuming that is the way I'm supposed to go. Ouch, yeah. That, okay. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, he actually knocked me out. No, well, it's not like I had a bonus or anything. Like a... Like stored up force. Oh, this... Yeah, this is not gonna work. Shield-wise. Oh, oh, wow. Move around him. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Actually, I haven't played in a couple of days. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, yeah, but these uh, purple glowing moves are certainly worrisome. So, essentially, try to. Uh, maybe not play it as safe as I have been, and rather aim for defeating enemies relatively quickly so they have less less opportunities to, to use those unblockable attacks. Huh. Okay, we have two chests here, potentially mimics. I don't think I have any more of those items now. I only had one of those. So let's see. If one's a mimic, there is really nothing I can do about it. Ancient Mystery Stone. Ancient Mystery Stone? Did I have? Oh, you hear a mysterious chant. Do I now? You have learned the magic spell Guard Plus. Oh. Uh, well, what's that do? Increases defense power for 20 seconds. Consumes 30 MP. 30. That's a bit pricey. I guess it might be good against the boss, if there is a boss coming up. Assuming there is. Really. Uh, looking forward... Oh. Awesome. Haunting eyes stare at you from inside the chest. Yay. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the boss fight, in a way. Uh, right. So, don't try to block... Man, there is not a lot of space to maneuver around this mimic. At all. Oh. Oh, it's blocking, okay. So, yeah, uh, turn. Turn. No! Oh, oh, how? How did it miss me there? I have no idea. Nice, that went very smoothly, I guess, I gotta say. A defeated Mimic and Fresh Herb. Oh, well, that's okay. I would like to regain some MP, if possible. 
Okay, we have... Yet more chests. Okay, this is not a mimic, and... Decayed Crest, huh. Supper begins to glow, of course. Oh, I'll restore the... Oh, the Wind Crest is memorized. Wind Crest. Yeah, that's, uh... Not a yeah, regular item. Opens passageways in the Wiseman Cemetery. Oh, okay, so now... All of these... Um... These barriers... These sealed barriers are not gonna be a thing. Good to know. 280 gems, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, and, and wait. Oh right. Never mind, I can turn it around. Yeah. So do I have to use it? No, it's applied automatically. Well, these might as well not be sealed then. It's always a bit weird in games where at some point you like the the Dragon Quest games, for example, or I guess maybe some Final Fantasies have similar things, where you find a key at some point, and from that point on, oh, <laughs> good thing there is no such thing as a surprise attack, um, and from that point on, any, any, well, any dungeons or whatever castles that you come across, or that you visit after that point, especially if uh, getting the key is, like, not optional, but, uh, always happens at some point in the story. Ouch. Uh, then every every dungeons or and or castles after that might as well not have any locked doors at all. Because what's the point? If you're always gonna be able to open it, then they might as well be unlocked to begin with. I guess there's still some some feeling of reward if you come across a door and have the key for it. Oh, wow! I can't believe I actually blocked that. I I was pretty sure I had uh, had let go of the block button before that. Oh, 30 MP, thanks, much appreciated. Um, oh God, yeah, and much needed. Looks like. So, we have more of these. That's bad news. Okay, this is... Yeah, this seems to be a staircase down, but I don't think I actually have to kill that, that sorcerer. Do I want to kill this guy, though? Yeah, I guess I might as well. These are reasonably easy to deal with. Sure, they can deal damage. Oh. Um, wait, this is a bad situation to be in. Oh, yeah, oh, well, he knocked me out. That's okay. For some reason, I'm not getting uh, Scepter Force anyway. So, it's not that bad. The thing is, of course, um, in case you hadn't guessed, um, or I don't, rather, I don't think, or I don't know if I ever mentioned it specifically, but uh, when enemies actively block, uh, I cannot. Oh, yeah. Well, nothing I can do about that as far as I know. Oh, don't don't grab your shield, please. Um, I, I can't actually combo them, so I'm always gonna only attack it once. With my attack getting deflected by the shield. Okay, I just keep spamming, I guess. There's a slight chance that he will decide to attack in the middle of my... Or in, in between two of my combos, but... Then again, I guess the chances are pretty good that he won't, so... Anyway. What was I saying? So yeah, blocking enemies. Uh, he is facing the stairs, but there's nothing else in this room. So I, in theory, I should be able, I might be able to sneak past. Okay, I was. Didn't even seem to aggro at all. I'm very fine with that, I gotta say. Oh, this place fills you with... Oh, something. I didn't quite catch that. Welcome to the Wise Man's Land. Oh, wait. This is Zora again. Not green this time. Welcome to the Wise Man's Land. My name is Zora. I will ask you three questions to test you. Whether I give you the lifting verse or not depends on your answer. 
Oh. How does a man achieve true success? If it is by achieving wealth, go through the left door. Yeah, it's obviously, obviously wealth. If it is by overcoming hardships, go through the middle door. If it is by achieving both, go through the right door. True success? Uh, by, hmm, overcoming hardships and gaining wealth. I don't think wealth... Uh, yeah, yeah, I do understand the question. I don't... I personally don't think that wealth has anything to do... Or is, is a, a measure of success, necessarily. Of course, uh, it often is. But only if you consider wealth something worth achieving. Of course, there are also people who are very wealthy but didn't do much or anything for it. But there are so many people who try very hard and never make it. Never never get rich. But that doesn't mean that they're not, not successful. So I am I personally think that wealth has nothing to do with it. Not necessarily, anyway. What is this? It's... What? Oh! What?! Excuse me? What was that? Did I fail, or wasn't I supposed to hit that button? I guess this is just a reset room. This is probably a mimic. Because why would there be a reward? No, it's not a mimic. Oh. Uh, source of power... That is additional... Yeah, an additional LP. Well, I'll take it. Thanks. Good thing I did fall, then. And this is gonna me uh, gonna lead me back. Where exactly? Oh wait, what? Back here. That makes no sense. Um. So, do I have to push these? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not sure. I get how this works. Do I just have to? Oh, is this? Oh wait. Maybe depending on what answer you pick, uh, the trial after that is going to be different. So this is going to be hardship without any riches, <laughs> maybe? Maybe I should have chosen the right door then. Maybe that would have given me, you know... Uh, I don't know. This gauntlet, but more chests with money in them? Who knows? I'm not gonna reload to find out. But I also kind of assume that there is no really uh, wrong answer in that case. So uh, the game won't be over if you choose incorrectly, basically. Uh, anyway, Zora's voice echoes again. One has to endure hardships to achieve true success. Oh, so he agrees, I guess. Good to know. Oh, and we're back here. So, second question. Listen carefully. Here's my second question. What is most important in life? If it is love, go through the left door. If it is money, go through the middle door. I see a pattern here. If you think it is both... <laughs> well, again... Uh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I understood. Yes. Uh... I guess love is important. Of course money is important in our society, but it's not an absolute value. So how is love going to be symbolized in this trial? By an empty room. Awesome. I love empty rooms. Did I win? Did I win? Hope I just have to pass time. Oh, how did you feel when you were all alone in this room? Well, I wasn't really alone for long enough to feel much of anything. Um, love is difficult to define, but that doesn't mean it's not real. Acts of kindness may involve sacrifice. Remember that. How deep? That was easy. Listen carefully. Which quality should you cherish most in a child? Money. If it is health, go through the left door. 
If it is honesty, go through the middle door. If it is good looks, <laughs> go through the right door. Wait. Health or honesty? That's that's a tough one. I guess health is more important ultimately. Although I would like to pick both. Uh, I mean good looks is a is tempting. But I, I'm gonna go with health. If you ask for the most important, if the child's not in good health, um, then it doesn't really help him to be honest. Uh, I'm pra I'm practicing to become a runner. I will run three laps. Please watch me. Okay. So he's running three laps, or he said he's gonna th run three laps, but maybe he isn't honest, so he's only gonna run th run two laps. I don't know. Oh, I can move. For some reason, I thought I couldn't. I think I couldn't move shortly after he um, started running. Anyway, it might also be my controller. I had to change uh, controllers, unfortunately, because my beloved uh, PS3 controller that I have been using for well, years has finally... Well, not stopped working entirely, but the uh, R1 button has stopped responding like 99% of the time. Sometimes it would react and work fine for a, for a while. I've already opened the controller and cleaned it and looked at it. There's nothing to be seen. I have no idea why it doesn't work. Anyway, that's uh, has nothing to do with this, or not much anyway. Ooh, I'm finished running. Good health is indeed a valuable quality in a child. But is it the most important? Now, go on to the Chamber of the Wind Spirit. Will I have to fight the Wind Spirit? Do I get a save point before? If I do? Oh, hmm. This does not look like a boss fight. Also, by the way, uh, in case you're hearing any of the traffic noise going on, uh, it's very loud for me. I hope the mic doesn't pick up most of it, but uh, it's today is announced to be possibly the hottest day of the year, and uh, it's already it's still pretty early, but it's it's searing hot already, and uh, I would die if I if I were to close any of my windows. So it's something I have to, or we all have to live with, unfortunately. So I hope it's not too bad. So yeah, this doesn't look like a boss. I am impressed that you have made it here, Chosen One. Yeah, it was really hard. I will now teach you the lifting verse of the Wind Spirit. The scepter memorizes the lifting verse. Oh, it can also memorize uh, melodies. Oh, very convenient. Now I've got the lifting verse, but the altar is still hidden. Can you tell me how to get in there? All oh, right, there is more to this uh, to that shrine place, right? You have to release the barrier. The battle awaiting you will be fierce. Good luck. Of course. Please let me save. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. Give me a save point and then go ahead and throw at me whatever you want. Oh. Wait. This is the Ocarina room again? Well, pretty fancy. And I'm in Kilia Shrine, third floor again, or... Wasn't that on third floor anyway? Oh. Eon, it's me. Can you hear me? Valos? Where are you? Eon, I only have a little time left. Please listen carefully. 
the guardian beast of the Wind Altar is called Borglang. You have to kill him, or the altar will be sealed forever. He is very dangerous, but there is a way to vanquish him. Strike when his hands are, are away from his body, and try to destroy the hands first. Okay. Uh, okay. Destroy the hands when they're away from the body. Good luck and hurry. Thalos! Well, oh, good. Good, good, good. Everything's fine. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, no. Oh, what? <laughs> Two safe crystals. That's a bit... Oh, this is the room in the middle. The one I had been wondering how to reach. That makes sense. So I'll probably emerge on top of the shrine now, or... Maybe not right away. Assuming this is... Yeah, okay, this is the boss fight. Without further ado... Um... Uh, he's, he's a bit... Oh, oh wow, holy crap. So I have to attack the hands when they're away from the body. How would I do that? Oh wow, this attack is so fast, I wasn't trying to block. Oh, oh. Oh, I did damage him though. A little bit. A little bit. And, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not feeling a ton of damage though. If at all. Oh, yeah, well, he just shoves me. Good. Maybe I should... Well, uh, this is basically me trying to figure out how this fight works and what the boss is capable of, of doing. Trying to learn how to read him a little bit. Oh, come on. Give me an opportunity to strike, please. Oh, wow, what? How did I move toward the boss so quickly? I guess I can sprint toward him. That's good to know. So if I try to attack him head on... Huh. Wow. Ouch. He's gonna... push me away. Like this. Yeah. Man, this... Oh! Oh! Okay. So... Uh, that health bar is like the entire boss, not just his hands. That's what I was afraid of. I thought, wow, do I have to kill each hand, like, separately? But it's a bit unfortunate that I can't, like, switch lock on to the hand. Oh, come on, attack. No. I yeah, don't think hitting... Ah, uh, yeah, well. Okay, that's that's doable then. It's, yeah, it's a bit tricky that... Because I can't lock onto the hands, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, continue, please. But, um... It didn't seem like the hand took too many hits to... I don't know, disable or... However you want to say it. And I might also give... The defense boost to try just to see. I mean, 20 seconds is not not super long. Uh, let's see. Here. Of course, I could try magic, but maybe I'll use magic once the the head itself becomes hittable. We'll see. Okay, let's use that. And whoops. Hmm. I'm not gonna have to heal for a while, and I might not even want to use healing magic for that, but rather uh, an item. So, yeah. Oh, well, that's a great start. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just gently touches me. Touches me gently. Uh, don't want to be gently touched by him. Come on. I, well, I hit the lock button there. 
No, no. Yeah. Uh, well. Oh, what? Okay, come on. I would like to count how many hits each hand each hand takes. That's kind of hard to figure out. Oh, okay, I, that wasn't very many hits. Like, four? One, two. Two hits. Ouch. That was bad. Yep, dodged that well. Three, four. Oh! Oh, okay. Hands are disabled. What the hell are you doing to me? Seriously, what? What was that? Oh. No! Can I dodge that? Uh, I don't think I can use items while I'm down, so... <sighs> Let's use one of these. Maybe it'll restore... Did it restore two? Um, not sure, actually. Okay, yeah, so you can dodge that. Okay, he's still gonna do this. Ah, come on. Oh. Yeah, I can remove one of his health bars. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, this should be very doable. If he doesn't... Oh. Have any more tricks up his... Sleeve? Oh wait, he doesn't have any sleeves anymore. He killed his hands. Uh, anyway. Yeah, if he doesn't have any more moves, then he has already revealed. And it doesn't look like he does. Unless he gets desperate on his last stretch. Uh, then this should be very easy. Oh, come on, please. Run. Oh, almost got him. One more hit. Maybe two. Yes! Okay, that was actually not very difficult at all. All things considered. Strangely, he became easier, I thought, uh, <laughs> once his hands were destroyed. But I'm just fine with that. Not gonna complain. You defeated Borland. Yay, first boss down. Uh, you seem to have gained power. I would sure hope so. You have gained a level. Awesome. I think leveling up mainly gives me more HP. Not that that's a bad thing. The ray of sunlight shines through a hole created by the shaking. Nice. So now I can reach the top of the shrine and... Yeah, okay. I automatically do so, in fact. Hey, and the girls are already here. Eon, are you alright? Have you been hurt? Oh, a little bit. It's okay, though. Yes. <laughs> Not. What was that? What was all that noise? I hope these walls don't collapse. Yeah, that would be bad. I was waiting outside of the Kelia Shrine for you. Suddenly I felt something evil lurking around me. Then Laramie came to my rescue. Ah, oh, maybe Laramie was the evil you felt lurking. <sighs> Don't exaggerate. I just came here to find you at the Elder's request. I didn't know... Uh, I didn't know I would have to climb so high. I'm exhausted. Is this the altar of the of the spirits? It's too creepy. Let's go. Arcia. Uh, Arcia. Put your hand on the scepter. The scepter projects the voice of the wise man Zora. The verse of the wind spirit is chanted. Oh, Eon, is that my father's voice? What is he saying? It must be the lifting verse. Yeah, you better memorize it, I suppose. It, I must recite the verse myself, but I don't know if I have the power. I have to try my best. Yeah, please do. When invisible wings soar high in the sky, expanding over oceans and blessing the earth. 
in faraway lands with harvest and grace. Human hearts thrive and all living things grow. Then rises a new wind that blows through the sky. And great heavenly spirits are brought back to life. Okay. It looked kind of, kind of bad, but I suppose it was just meant to demonstrate, like the wind, the wind's power being strengthened. I don't know. Everything seems all right. Oh, well, okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Uh, let's go back to town. Eon, what do you think happened to Valos? That's a good question. Maybe he returned home already. I hope you're right. I will check with the Elder when I return. Right. Oh, elderly man's house. Thanks for saving me the walk back. Much appreciated. Oh, Eon, I have been waiting for you. The land's ability to float has been renewed through the ceremony of the Wind Spirit. But, Valos, why did he go to the Kilia Shrine alone? Valos knew what was bound to happen. Your fate, the future of this continent, and his fate were all interconnected. Take this example, Eon. This flower will soon dry out, but its life will still carry on. Valos followed his own destiny. As a result, you were able to accomplish this incredible task. Everything that has happened occurred for a reason. We can't change even one of those things without disrupting our destiny. As you grow older, you will begin to understand. You should be selfish and only care for the people close to you. You must think of what is best for the entire world. Velos understood that. You came here with confused feelings. Go home and remember what Velos taught you. It will help you decide what to do. Hint, you're supposed to save the entire world. Don't be selfish, boy. But, you know, then again, our continent is safe. So, screw the others, right? What do I have to, to do with them? Not much. Uh, what? No, I think I've heard all the advice she has to give. Um... So, okay, first boss down, first continent saved. There should only be three more main dungeons, I suppose. Although this one was reasonably big. It took me long enough, anyway. Uh, you did? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you think you can save the other continents too? Yeah, probably. Okay. So I'm going to save the game here. We made some good progress this time around. And I shall see how we continue uh, next time. So, for now, I thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment. I shall see you real soon. Till then, have a wonderful time and bye-bye.